All right, let me show you where I'm at right now. Got the fuel filter mounted exactly where it used to mount, which is on the motor mount, just the way it was originally. Made a little bracket for the coolant overflow. Now the only place I could pull the wires through is there and in that round hole there where the gear shift cable for the automatic used to be. I determined there's not enough room to get everything through there. This hole had to be made slightly smaller to get one connector through. This hole here had to be made two inches by two inches to get the uh, big connector that looks something like, where the hell is it? That one, just bigger that goes on the ECU, which is either be under the hood mounted, sort of close where Volkswagen had it. So you can see that gear shifter cable hole, the hole I just made with some sound deadening in the way. So far, I'm not sure if I have to lengthen any cables or not. The internal fuse box is going to be up here. The external fuse box isn't going to be under the hood anymore unless I want to cut 50 wires and rejoin them. So it's going to be mounted sideways in here. And I'll show you how I've got the wiring harness laid out after I've deconstructed it. There it is, all stretched out. Last time you seen it was on the engine. So this wire is goes to the throttle pedal, the ignition switch. This bunch of relays, which probably I don't need all of them, is going to go underneath the transmission hump, or what looks like a transmission hump, and be a little bit on the left side. This is the instrument cluster connector. This is the little indoor fuse box that I showed you is going to be way up above the throttle pedal. And this is the external one, which is going to be inside, so I am going to have to run a couple heavy positive wires to it from the alternator and a couple other things. I'll have to extend those. There's the ECU wire. This cable goes to the, when you're standing in front of it, to the right side of the engine. And this cable goes to the lower right side of the engine compartment when you're standing in front, to the radiator and to starter motor and some other things down there. So now it's time to stuff all this stuff in see how it works out. That's my ABS wires and this is my fuel tank wire that used to be connected there and I'm going to use the blue wire on that cable that has a red line that's going to attach to this brown wire that I added on when I cut the circuit out for the from the tipum from that big brown connector that's under there and I think within an hour or two, I'm going to have this puppy running. Sweet.